I'm a self-taught senior AI engineer, and I've done about 25 AI engineer interviews now. And once I developed this system for how to prepare for them, I started to impress a lot more interviewers and land a lot more job offers. Yes, the market is competitive. Yes, hiring is broken. But what doesn't get talked about enough is that everyone's just doing the same thing. Here's how doing things differently will get you more AI engineer job offers. And make sure to watch until the very end because I have a little bonus tip for you. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that you already have an interview coming up. If you want to learn about landing more AI engineer interviews, drop a comment down below because I got some tips for that too. So you got an interview coming up and you're wondering what to brush up on. Is it Langchain, Llama Index, TensorFlow? It's a bit overwhelming, right? And it becomes hard to get started. First of all, you should know that there's basically three types of the AI engineer role, as you will find them on LinkedIn. So the first one, this is the glorified full stack developer with some open AI sprinkles on top of it. So this is basically just a full stack dev role where it's a bonus if you worked with open AI APIs, et cetera. And like the company just wants to future proof themselves and make sure their engineers are ready to hop on more AI stuff down the line. But for now, it's just a basic full stack role with some LLM calling here and there. <laughs> oh my God, so sick. And then you have the machine learning role, and this is for you nerds who like actually enjoyed math in high school. And this is where you'll be working with TensorFlow, PyTorch. There's more focus on data science and building and deploying your own models. You're gonna be working more with the models themselves, and they're more likely to be smaller, more specialized models. But you won't be working as much with LLMs, which let's face it, is like the coolest thing right now. And then you have the Gen AI engineer role, and this is probably what you want. So you don't really need as heavy of a background in data, but it definitely helps. You're gonna be working with vector databases like Pinecone, um, Chroma, Face, using frameworks like Langchain and Langgraph, and basically building and deploying AI agents and workflows. And then there's also the roles that's like kind of a hybrid between the ML and the AI engineer role. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now, but those are a bit rarer. But these are the main three archetypes. They're all conveniently disguised as the AI engineer role. Basically what I want to say is when you see an AI engineer role, it can be any of these three. Okay, so here's the first step to preparing for an AI engineer interview. That's open source intelligence. So. Get as much information as you can about the company, the job description, the people already working in that role, and especially the person interviewing you. And go to Google News and search for the company name and also the interviewer. This will allow you to demonstrate that you're staying up to date in the industry and with this company. And that's what every company wants to hear, really. Then dump all this data into your favorite large language model, along with your resume, and say, I'm interviewing with this company, I'm meeting this person, here's my background, what are the concepts I should make sure I know to qualify in the interview, and what extra knowledge can I display to ensure I impress the interviewer? Okay, so now you should have a general outline of what you need to know. So let's go on to the next step, be proactive. So in the same chat, basically start a mock interview where the AI pretends to be the interviewer, and give instant feedback to your answer and correct it or improve it if necessary. Tell it to be ruthless. So the AI will, given all the context, anticipate the questions you will likely get at the interview. To make it easier and more natural, turn on the microphone mode and just answer like you would in any other interview. The AI will then critique your answer and add any other bits that you might have missed. And this is how you figure out what you need to learn for your interview. Because I can sit here for 10 minutes and talk about all the AI engineer interview questions that I faced. I actually did that already. But as you can see, the AI engineer role varies so differently that just practicing these interview questions, it's a good foundation, but it's just not enough. And if you really want to be proactive, this is the next step. If this video is helpful so far, please give me a like. I'm trying to make better videos and help more people become self-taught AI engineers, just like I did. So this mock interview will probably go on forever, but I would just practice this over and over. As you go about your day, instead of reaching for your phone to scroll on Reddit or God forbid Instagram, uh, open up ChatGPT or Gemini and just answer an interview question. 
This way you internalize it compared to cramming everything last minute where you can't just memorizing it. Of course, you won't be able to answer every question, nor do you want to, but you'll find that even answering some Gen AI related interview questions, it'll kind of put your brain in the mind space of solving problems in the Gen AI space. I can't really put it into words fully, but I think you understand what I mean here. But you'll also be surprised at how many of these questions that the AI generates for you will actually pop up in your interview. And for those, you'll be super well prepared. Like, it'll almost be too easy, right? Like you'll have a grin on your face and you'll just be like, hmm. And you'll deliver the answers with such confidence and clarity that we're really impressed to interview and be like, wow, this guy knows Gen AI. You see, it's all about blowing them off their feet, impressing them. Because there's always going to be someone better at ML and AI than you are, and coding in general. Like, the amount of... PhD graduates in machine learning and AI right now looking for a job at the same time as you and I is ridiculous. But these people have been hanging out on ArcSiv and reading research papers and being engrossed in academia for so long that they tend to be a bit dull, you know? And the main complaint I've heard from people interviewing for AI engineer roles is that there's a lot of talented ML and AI engineers uh, who are PhDs, etc., but they lack the practical the software engineering skills, and also the soft skills as well. So there are better coder candidates and AI candidates than you, but you can be the most interesting candidate. The candidate that makes the interviewer think more deeply. The candidate that sparks an emotional response out of the interviewer. Look, I used to be a very introverted person until I started basically talking to strangers. And through doing that, I realized that most people's lives are pretty boring. You know, they go about their day to day, doing their work or walking home from work. And it's like kind of the same thing over and over. There's nothing unexpected happening. What I'm trying to get at is like the bar is very low for people to get excited when they're just going about their daily routine, like work, interviewing, etc. So the bar is very low to excite people. So, you know, you've done your research on the interviewer. Maybe you saw they played tennis or something. Okay, crack a tennis joke or something like that. You'd be surprised at how a little goes a long way because at the end of the day, people want to work with other humans that they vibe with, especially now with AI becoming more and more of a uh, colleague of ours. People want to be around people who excite them. And why shouldn't that be you? After all, you did all this research about the interviewer and the company. You know a lot about them, so might as well put it to use. If you'd like a more in-depth tutorial on how to become more interesting and excite people as an introvert, that's also something I could do a video on, but you gotta let me know in the comments, otherwise, nah. <laughs> okay, so look, this whole do a bunch of research and use AI to do mock interviews, it's not a revolutionary concept that I'm teaching you here. You probably thought about it before, but you'd be surprised at how few people actually do this. Most engineers, they maybe watched a couple of interview videos uh, when they were juniors. Then they think they know how to interview and they're already experienced, blah, blah. And then they just raw dog it, you know? <sighs> Interviewing is a skill that, like everything else, it requires constant practice, constant improvement. And like, take it seriously. You're trying to build your career in AI, which arguably has like the best salaries, the best job security, and is like the most interesting field to work in right now. So like... I don't know, give it like one to two months of like solid effort, be proactive, because once you get that first AI engineer job offer, mm, 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 you are gonna come back to this video and comment, I'm naming my firstborn after you. Hope it's a boy. <laughs> okay, you made it this far in the video, so I'm gonna stay true to my word and give you a little bonus tip. So someone on Reddit made this uh, massive prompt that basically improves any prompt you feed it. Well, more or less, it's, it's very good. So I recommend you start by using this prompt and then telling the AI, hey, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to land this job. I have an interview coming up. Let's prepare for it. And it'll, be, it'll create a really nice prompt for you that should serve as a good initial prompt for starting your conversation on Gemini or ChatGPT. Just make sure to tell it to turn down the circumferency a bit because the AI can be a bit too nice. Like even if you answer a question poorly, it could still be fluff you up, which is not what you want. You want it to tell you when you crash and burn. And there you have it. This, this is the system I developed that made me a self-taught AI engineer, today's senior AI engineer. 
And look, some final notes is this industry is still very new. This role is still very new. There's no official meta. There's no like lead code for this yet. Basically, there's no structure to how to get this job, right? And that's why I really implore you to think about outside the box, be creative, be different. What I see in the industry is like people want to work with people that are like quote unquote cracked. And by being different from the stream, you kind of show those qualities of someone who's cracked, right? So just be enthusiastic and do your homework and you will get that job offer. If you have any more questions or any other way I can help you, the comment section is down there. Let me get that engagement, baby. <laughs> if you'd like to learn more about my story, about how I went from a real estate agent in Miami to a now senior self-taught AI engineer, well, you can watch this video where I talk about my whole story and it also has a bunch of tips too. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.